Hello, Tarot Tube, Card Slingers, and Gamers. I'm here today because I just got my mass market version of the Citadel A Fantasy Oracle, which is also used for role playing. Um, and I thought I'd go over what's the difference between the mass market and the indie version, which came in this beautiful box. So let's put the box aside and let's just have a look at these two and see how they're different. Um, all right, so first thing, who publishes them? So with the indie version, it was published by Liminal 11. And now the mass market you can currently purchase is Sterling Ethos. So here's your list price on this currently. Um, and it was the same list price for the individual box at Liminal 11, but because it came in this amazing kit, it was quite a bit more expensive. So, I mean, you're just gonna have to search and see what the actual price is for you wherever you are in the world. And now let's see what the differences are. So full disclosure, I have used this deck quite a bit. It's it doesn't really show a lot of wear, but there is some wear on it. So let's see if there's a difference in the box. So here we've got the, um, you know, this magnetic thing that we're so used to with Liminal 11. And ta-da, uh, the Sterling Ethos people have managed to reproduce that. So when you're just looking at this exterior box, I don't really see much of a difference. Um, you know, some of the images are placed uh, a little bit differently, but not huge difference. Um, so I don't think there's anything to talk about there. And then with this style, you're, you're going to open up your box. And they come with a uh, little insert because these cards are kind of an unusual shape. It does have a little cardboard insert to keep them in place during shipping, which I, I took it out right away. <laughs> Here's what they look like, if, you, if you're curious. So this is what comes in the shipping. And I honestly can't remember what the Liminal 11 looked like because it was so long ago. So right away we can see that there are differences with the borders. So in the indie version, we had this red border. It's, um, I wish I knew my terminology. It's a little bit metallic looking, um, but it's, it's not too much. So it doesn't... It, it didn't uh, change the, the bendability. Yeah, that's it. It doesn't change the bendability of the card. So let's put our little white books to the side. There is a difference there. So I'm going to take a look and see what it is because I can see right off the bat this one's thicker. So I don't know if it's about content because I haven't spent any time. I just unwrapped it. And you know what? I don't know if y'all have this problem, but I frequently, like, the white card gets left in here. I always have to double check and make sure I got them out. But they're such beautiful boxes. I mean, just really gorgeous. All right. So we know that's one difference is the border. One is red, and this uh, mass market doesn't have the red borders. Edging. Yeah, edging. That's the right word. Sorry about that, y'all. And now let's just look at the quality of the front of the card. So this is, these are in no particular order, so we're not going to have any. Um, I mean, because I've been using these and I just, I didn't put them back into order. So let's see, let's get you a little bit closer. Yeah, that's, that's, that's better. Um, the cards are the same size. Yes, they are exactly the same size. Um, the backs, I'm not seeing any difference. And um, they feel like they're the same card stock or very close if they're not. This one, the indie might be a scooch heavier, maybe, but they seem like they're the same. You know, the, the bend on it seems the same. So I don't think there's much of a difference there. I'm going to take these away from the camera and walk over to the window so I can look at this. Um, okay, what is this called? This metallic. Is that spot gloss? I don't know. You can leave it in the comments below and help us out, please. I think this is called spot gloss. And this one looks just, the mass market looks just a little bit more yellowy less metallic maybe but 
Well, I don't know. That may just be the way the camera is picking it up. Because when I take it over to the window, I'm going to do it again. When I take it over to the window and I look at them, they really look the same. But I, I would say there's not a lot of difference. Let's see if we can find the priest card in here. That'll that'll give us a good look. All right, I'm going to take this up. So, because that's a really big one, right? Uh, and I'm very curious to see, now that I have the two decks in my hand, which one I will use more. Here's the priest. Okay, I think this, this will give us a nice comparison. All right, honestly, I just don't see any difference. There may be some minute bit of difference there, but I, I really don't think so. Let's flip it around. No, I think, I feel like it's the same. I feel like at this point, I really think the main difference is just um, the edging. I feel like the inks look the same. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, here's another one. Uh, did I find another one? No, I, th I thought I had another one that was exactly the same. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy, but here we go. Here's another one we can look at together. And let's, let's take all the variations out. Let's put them both completely flat. I, I don't see a difference. I think the only difference really is going to be the edging. And that certainly would not be uh, a reason for me to choose one deck to use over the other. Why do I have two decks? You may well ask. Well, I have two decks because this way, um, when I'm using these for role-playing games, I can separate them into sections and I could pull a card and have it out for the players to look at, but still have it, still have one for myself behind the screen um, to help me use it. All right, so now let's take a look at these. All right, I feel like there's going to be more in this one. Okay, yeah, it's hard to tell because I've used this so much. Right, like this one's all bent. This one's not bent yet. They sure look the same. Let's take a look at the, <laughs> there's our map. Let's take a look at the contents. That should answer our questions. Okay, so they both have a quick reading guide. They both have forward, journey, how it works, card meetings, gaming, spreads, and complementing the tarot. All right, I feel like it felt different at first, but it's just because I haven't like broken it open. And, um, yeah, that's it. So that is really cool. Um, so the third iteration, so this is the third iteration because this started um, as with, a, I don't know if it was a Kickstarter or just some kind of a, um, kit combination deck thing that uh, Luminal 11 did. So it started out as a Seed and Sickle and Citadel that came together. Then this one came out in um, this Citadel Collector's Edition with the Deck of Emblems. And now we have just the Citadel available. And I have no qualms at all recommending this mass market. If if you feel like you want this either to use as an oracle deck as or for gaming, I think it's a beautiful deck for both purposes. And yeah, the mass market, I'm going to give it bing, bing, two thumbs up. And speaking of thumbs up, if y'all could hit the like button, that would be awesome. Have fun out there gaming and doing your divination and throwing cards for whatever reason. Enjoy. Bye-bye.